Okay, in this particular lesson, what we're going to be looking at is dividing rational expressions. Uh, in order to divide rational expressions, uh, all you need to do is divide the coefficients and divide the radicands. Uh, one important rule is that you must, must, must have the same index in order to divide uh, radical expressions. So, for example, if I wanted to divide uh, the cubed root of x squared divided by the square root of x, uh, that is not allowed because the indexes, which are technically cubed and squared, are different. So that would already be uh, in the simplest form. Uh, you'll see in the two cases that we have today, they have the same indexes, so we can we can divide them. Uh, also important that you state the restrictions on the variables uh, before and after simplifying. Uh, you'll notice that in some cases you'll create new restrictions on the variables as you simplify. Uh, you might not though, but just make sure that you do it uh, in both cases. So always just check your restrictions at all times. Uh, as far as restrictions go, a few things to remember is that the radicand must be greater than or equal to zero if the index is even. And something that's going to come up when we're dividing rational expressions is also uh, the denominator cannot equal zero, because you can't divide by zero uh, in math. So let's look at these two examples. Uh, it says simplify and state any restrictions on the variable. In this first one, uh, there's absolutely no variables, so there's no restrictions on the variables to talk about. Uh, there's two ways you can actually simplify. It's totally up to you. Uh, you can simplify the numerator and denominator first and then divide, or you can divide and then simplify. It's totally and completely up to you. I don't know which one is more advantageous. Um, first thing I'll do, I might as well show that this is, uh, I'm going to divide first and then simplify. I'll show you both ways. Um, if I divide the coefficients here, so negative 3 divided by 6, uh, we'll simplify to negative 1 half. And then if I divide the, uh, <clears throat> the radicands, this would be uh, the square root of 24 divided by the square root of 2. That would end up being uh, the square root of 12 over the square root of 1, and square root of 1 is itself, so you don't really need that there. Uh, so as far as in simplest form, this would be negative uh, 1 root 12, so just recombine it, so negative root 12 uh, over 2. Uh, this is, now we could actually simplify this further. So this is the dividing first and then simplify step. Uh, 12 is actually 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. So you can take out a pair of 2s, and then you'll have 2 root 3. So the next por part is, this is negative 2 root 3 uh, over 2, and you can see now that we can actually uh, divide these two parts here. Negative 2 divided by 2 is 1, so these actually technically cancel out. So our simplest form is just negative root 3. Okay. Uh, if you want to simplify first, so let me just show you an alternative method. Uh, you could simplify the square root of 24 uh, and then simplify from there. So square root of 24 uh, would be 12, 2 times 12, which is 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. And you'll notice uh, that what we can simplify, if we take out a pair of 2s, uh, we'll be left with in this case, negative 6 root, and inside of our radicand is 2, and 2 times 3, which is 6, uh, all over 6 root 2. And now we can start dividing, uh, just like we did in the previous step. So uh, this would be negative 6 divided by 6. So divide the coefficients and divide the radicands. And in this case, the coefficients make negative 1. Uh, the radicands make the square root of 3, so we have negative square root of 3. So either way, we get the same solution. Uh, in our next example, what we're going to look at, I'll just erase this stuff here. Uh, in our next example, what we're going to look at is uh, something with variables in it. A few restrictions to look at. And both, well, in the case of the numerator, there would actually be no restrictions because something squared will always be positive. So we can always, there are no restrictions for the numerator. But as far as the denominator goes, there's actually two restrictions. First of all, you can't square root a negative, so uh, one of the restrictions has to do with x has to be greater than or equal to 0. But also, if x was 0, the square root of 0 is 0, and we would have negative 4 times 0, you would have a denominator of 0, which you are not allowed to divide by 0. So another restriction is x cannot be 0. Uh, you could pair these together like this, or 
if it's x is greater than or equal to 0, but x can't be 0, you could just make it not or equal to 0. x is greater than 0. That's your best uh, statement as far as your restrictions go. But either way is completely up to you. Uh, now let's go ahead and simplify. Uh, I'm going to use uh, just dividing first and then simplifying, which you wouldn't have to do. Uh, but I'll show you why that's actually a little bit better. Uh, if I divide first, I'm going to have... 8 divided by negative 4 is my coefficients, and as far as my radicands go, this would be uh, the square root of x squared divided by the square root of x. Uh, so simple, simplest form would be negative 2, and x squared divided by x is x, so that would be root x. That would be my simplest form. Uh, I like that answer the best. Let me show you the alternative method. If you had simplified the numerator and denominator first, um, what you would notice is that the numerator would just become... 8x because uh, x squared, the square root of, of x squared is just x because you've got a pair of x's that will come out as a single x. Uh, so there'll be no radicand anymore. And this would be over uh, negative 4 root x. So if we divide the uh, coefficients in this case, so you'd have 8x divided by negative 4 times. Uh, square root of 1 technically over the square root of x, which just looks a little bit more awkward. This would be uh, this would be negative 2x, and this would be uh, over root x, which looks significantly different uh, than this. And this answer is better. Uh, we'll talk about in the next section why this is better and why having a square root uh, in the denominator isn't suggested. So uh, this is actually not in simplest form, which we'll look at um, soon.